Budget phones have come a long way in recent years, and the Urquitel C33 is a great example of this. It offers a reasonable value for money and is capable of handling everyday tasks with ease. The C33 is powered by a mid-range processor, has a long-lasting battery and a decent camera. It is also great for browsing the web, checking emails, playing light games and taking photos. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the newest Urquitel C33 and see how it performs in a variety of tasks. I'll also share my personal experiences using the phone and give you my overall thoughts on it. If you're looking for a budget-friendly phone that can do it all, then stick around to the end of the video to see if the C33 is right for you. We even journeyed to Ibiza to test the photo and video capabilities to check if this phone would be a worthy companion to take on holiday. But before we get into it, let's take a look what's included in the box. Inside you'll find the phone itself, USB-C to USB-A charging cable, standard 10 watt charger. It's the UK version but it comes with the chargers relevant to the country you buy it in. There's also safety certificates, warranty card, user manuals and dedicated transparent vinyl protective case. I think that's everything you need to get started, let's take a closer look at the phone. The C33 has a minimalist design that is both nice looking and functional. The back panel has a smudge free leather like texture that feels great in the hand and provides a secure grip. The phone is surprisingly lightweight and thin, weighing just 210 grams and measuring 9.8 millimeters thick. This makes it easy to hold and carry around. The C33 has a flat frame and rounded edges which are comfortable to hold. The power button and the volume rocker are located on the right side of the phone, while the left side houses dual SIM tray and a micro SD card slot. The bottom of the phone has a headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port and a speaker. There's also a fingerprint sensor on the back panel. The phone is available in three colors, orange, blue and grey. Overall, the C33 has a nice looking design and offers solid build quality. Unfortunately, the phone does not have an IP rating, so it's not water resistant. The phone has a 6.75 inch TFT LCD display with a resolution of 1600 by 720 pixels and a refresh rate of 64 Hz. There's a water drop style notch up top for the selfie camera. The display has a nice color reproduction and acceptable brightness range. It's bright enough to be used outdoors and is also protected by a pre-applied vinyl screen protector. The phone has a single speaker located at the bottom of the frame. The overall sound quality is passable, but the volume can be a bit tiny at max level. The speaker is loud enough for phone calls, but it might be not ideal for listening to music or watching videos. The phone has Widewind L3 certification, which means that it only can stream basic resolution content from supported streaming services, such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. It cannot stream Full HD or Ultra HD content, which is a bit disappointing, but it's not surprising given the phone's price point. So, the Ukitel C33 has a triple lens rear camera system with a 50 megapixels main sensor, a 2 megapixels macro sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor which is used for portrait mode photos. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical about the C33's camera at first. However, once my wife took a few photos with it, I was quite impressed. The main sensor takes sharp and detailed photos in a bright daylight and it does ok in medium and low light conditions, however, as you can see the quality deteriorates a bit in a low light, even with the help of Google AI image processing. I compared the photo taken with the C33 to a photo taken with another low budget phone, the Blackview A85. It's clear that the C33 did a better job. I also compared the same photo to some taken with the latest OnePlus mid-range phone and the latest high-end Xiaomi 13, both of which are way pricier. As you can see, there's a noticeable difference in contrast and detail, but don't forget the C33 is a budget phone. The phone takes nice photos in the bright daylight, let's see how it does with zooming. It has a 4 times zoom and as you can see the more you zoom the grainier the image gets. So I wouldn't recommend zooming in too much.
When recording videos, keep in mind that the phone doesn't have the electronic image stabilization, so the footage might be a bit shaky. Here's a comparison video of the C33 and the iPhone 11 recorded simultaneously. The colors and image dynamic range are good, but the lack of image stabilization might be distracting. I would avoid filming in low light since the footage loses its dynamic range and looks kind of bad. But hey, let's not forget, it's a budget phone. The front 5 megapixel selfie camera takes an OK photos in the bright light, but the quality can drop in low light. The camera also has some features like portrait mode to help you take better selfies. There's a special feature called Face Attribute Detect that analyzes facial features like your age, gender or smile. The phone using this info for a bunch of different things, but I like to use it for fun. The C33 runs on Android 13 with a few Ukitel tweaks. It's got a clean and simple interface with big icons and easy to navigate menus. You can also customize the look and feel of the phone to match your preferences. The phone is powered by an entry-level Unisoc T606 processor. It's good for everyday tasks like browsing the web, checking emails and using social media. It can also handle light gaming, but it might struggle with more demanding games. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM, which is a lot for a budget phone. It can also be virtually expanded to an additional 7GB in the settings. This is plenty of RAM for most tasks and it will help the phone run smoothly even when you have multiple apps opened at the same time. The C33 also has 188GB of internal storage which can be expanded with the external micro SD card up to additional 256GB. The SIM tray supports dual SIM cards with dual standby and support for voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi which lets you make and receive voice calls, text and video calls over a Wi-Fi network instead of using a mobile network. The C33 scores 171 points on the Antutu benchmark which is pretty good for its class. It's somewhere between Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and Samsung Galaxy A80. This means that it will handle most everyday tasks without any problems. But let's test it with a few popular games including Asphalt 9 Legends, Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. Asphalt 9 Legend runs smoothly with no lags or frame drops. I'm able to play the game at the medium graphics settings without any problems or significant frame drops. Call of Duty Mobile also runs smoothly with no lags or frame drops, but I set the game for the low graphics settings. PUBG runs smoothly, but I had to lower graphics settings again to get the best performance. And even at the lower settings, the game was still playable and I was able to get a good frame rate. Out of curiosity, I tried the most processing power hungry game ever adopted on the Android platform, Genshin Impact. I set everything on a low level and as you can see I'm still able to play it, however with occasional visible frame drops, but it's still playable. Overall, the C33 is a good phone for everyday tasks and light gaming. It has average gaming performance and can handle most games without any issues, but you might need to lower the graphics settings for some more demanding games. If you're a serious gamer, you might want to consider a more powerful phone. The C33 has a bigger than average 5150mAh battery that can last you up to 2-3 days even if you're gaming or doing all the power demanding stuff. It comes with a standard 10W charger and it will take around 2.5 to 3 hours to charge it from 0 to 100%. Unfortunately, it doesn't support fast charging. The lack of fast charging is a minor disappointment, but it's not a deal breaker. 
and overall the C33 is a solid option if you're looking for a budget phone that offers reliable performance, long battery life, a capable camera system, 8GB of RAM virtually expandable to 15GB and Android 13. The phone is available for around $150 US or $150 British pounds on Amazon. It's a good option for people who are looking for a new, trustworthy and affordable Android smartphone that gets the job done. If you're interested in getting the C33, there are affiliate links in this video description. These links include a 15% discount code for our viewers on Amazon links and an additional coupon for a tanner to be used on Amazon or on Ukitel online store. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss when the next video comes out.